I had 20 go back on the 29th of April of 2012. I'm inside a PlayStation, a place we play and draw our, do our coloring in Foursquare. It's called McDonald's. But I'm giving you a quick run through, just one paper, the Sunday Independent, with 939,000 people. Some of them might be receiving promotional copies, like here at McDonald's. That's my conspiracy theory. But this is also the conspiracy theory. And it props the biggest news that we get. Race is heating up for Lenehan's private files on guarantee. So basically what's happening is the former minister of finance, Brian Lenehan, has papers, private papers that left his office when he died. His family has them. They're in the hands, they should be in the hands of the Public Accounts Committee in, in Ireland. It's a um, duly appointed political committee, cross-partisan, um, dual bipartisan, well, to totally, well, it represents the interests of the Irish Heractas. Interesting papers. Corruption is well. Living in Wales has been done. A guy that's familiar with corruption. And inside this paper, um, yeah, an indication that Ben Dunn might not have the top brand. Full page ad from Tesco, but then there's a full page ad from Dunn's as well. And that's a that's a telling statement about the condition of the leading independent, the leading Sunday paper in Ireland, where uh, groceries are the main story. Okay, some other stuff that's here, if the little girl allows me to do this. Dad, Anne Harris. I can't see right <laughs> Anne Harris writes about this government's complacency may yet lead the coping class to vote no. The big deal is this. And the Kenny, the head of government, is urging people to tighten their belts and vote yes, vote austerity. But the people who are rethinking the treaty, perhaps voting no, are the coping class, not the passionate ideologues of the left or Lions or Sinn Féin. They're people who just can't cope anymore. Count me one of them. Brendan O'Connor writes, we suspect treaty itself is the enemy of growth. And he says, what's good? What, what makes it good if it's austere? A quarter of the workforce is unemployed and the rest are living in penury. It's kind of a strange boast that Ireland can make is that, hey, the Troika's been here and they're happy we're tightening our belts and yada, yada, yada. That's the happy face of the finance minister, a, a pose that he often takes when announcing how proud Ireland is of being um, good little people, poster boys for austerity. And then the rest of the paper has stuff like commentary from Colin McCarthy, who proposed austerity to the highest level. Inside the paper, the Lenahan papers, the, the articles written by Daniel McConnell and Tom, we Tom Lyons, Sonny Infinite confirming that most of the ministerial papers of Lenahan are at his house. Hopefully, they'll become a matter of public record. These are the guys I have in, in my YouTube clip, confidants of Brian Lenahan before he decided to hand over the keys of uh, the banking problems to uh, a state bailout. It also inside this paper are 60 people that are the yeah, most uh, influential like in Ireland. They don't include painters or drawers. You can find out who some of those people are by running over to InsideView.ie, my web blog, where I write stuff or checking out www.thickler.com. Uh, You'll get photos that I take from the landscape of images of my bag and of a little artist who's really good. I'm Bernie Goldberg on Top Photo on Twitter. Thanks for listening to this short news clip. Bye for now.